This video is part of a series of videos on how to use auto traffic. Be sure you start from the first video. The link to the playlist is in the description below. We finished the Docker part of it. Now we're ready to set up traffic reverse proxy. How this works is exactly the same as what I showed in my first video on the auto traffic script, but let's, I made some minor tweaks here and there. Now you can see a specific tra traffic preparation step, which is not done, which is the same as the Docker preparation step where we were creating the environment files and folders. Traffic also needs a few things. So now let's go ahead and do that now. The HD password file, which is the basic authentication password file, it's checking for ports, requ ports required by traffic. It's creating the, the, the rules folder, the acme.json file, where, um, where the certificate information will be present, all the required middlewares for traffic, the log files that traffic will be used. Um, all of this in, is automatically created for you. So let's hit done and now it shows that step is done first get the staging environment running before you start messing with it i have seen many 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 people get stuck here they just go with production environment straight and they get themselves locked out of let's let's encrypt server temporarily um, because we don't want to bombard let's encrypt servers they have limits on how many certificates you can request um, in a time frame so you can easily exceed that exceed that limit if there is a mistake in your setup and then you just keep trying and trying and trying so always always do staging first in if you're following my guide the script automatically takes care of this for you because if i go to production now and say setup production is not going to let me proceed because i've not done the staging part yet so let's go back and start the staging part right now so it's creating all the empty files and log files that are needed um so stopping any existing containers installed traffic started the tra the traffic container oh okay so wow i see an error here what does this mean uh, because uh, there is a mistake failed to find zone possibly wrong cloudflare api key or the global api key is uh, incorrect okay so like i said i made some mistakes when we filled out that informa information box at the beginning i did not put my right email id i did not put my right password so what i'm going to do right now exit out of this video edit those values offline so you don't get to see my super secret stuff we'll come back here and i'm going to rerun it i'm back um i just wanted to quickly show you so i have to go in and correct my cloudflare credentials i can go back to the menu right here one thing i forgot to show you is that these fields right here allow copy paste so if you have your cloudflare global api key you can copy paste it right here uh, also the email I also wanted to mention that at this point, the script uses global API key. There is a more secure way to do or validate um, and get Let's Encrypt certificates using Cloudflare DNS, and that would be using a scoped API token. This is possible. I am leaving that uh, out of the scope of as of version 2.2.1 but it's something that i'm working on and i'm in one of the future versions of the script you will be able to use cloudflare scoped api token instead of your email and global api key which you should be guarding quite well so for now you can uh, um, come back to the script copy paste and proceed i'm going to do that right now offline and get back and continue with traffic staging okay i am done fixing my cloudflare credentials uh, so let's uh, retry traffic staging now so if i go into staging now it's gonna go through all the steps um, the one that failed before should not reappear fingers crossed 
since we now have um, the right API key and the email. One thing to keep in mind is that if you have indeed provided the right global API key and the email, um, or as we saw in the script, had the incorrect one in the beginning and then you went back and fixed it, you might see the error come back up again and again and again and you may not be able to proceed, uh, which is obviously a false positive. So um, while I work through and figure out why that's happening, you can always go back to auto traffic status and re or the auto traffic options menu and reset the status and start over again. And you, okay, you will have to re-enter the required information uh, and inconvenience at this point, but reset the status and start over again and it should go through without issue. So at this point, let's wait for the script to finish and we'll continue with the description. It can take up to 15 minutes, so let's wait. Okay, at this point, it looks like the script's done doing what it was supposed to do. Traffic staging was set up correctly. All the, the staging certificates were pulled and on top, the presence of the staging certificate was verified as well. You can go to traffic.simplehomelob.com at this point to verify. You're also told to ignore the not secure warning which some of the browsers will throw because it's still a staging certificate and not officially recognized by the browser. So we can go in few seconds. The script is going to go back to the previous menu while it's doing that. Let's head over to um, our browser here and go to traffic.simplehomelab.com. You're going to see the not secure warning here. Ignore that. Why? Why? Are you seeing this error? Let's go back, look, open the certificate and check. Okay, so um, there you go. So it says artificial apricot R3, let's encrypt staging. This is why it's still a staging certificate. So ignore that. Let's ignore that. And that for, well, in my case, I can't ignore and for move forward and I'm glad we're seeing this error right now because I have HSTS turned on by default. HSTS is a security feature so I have to have valid certificates because before I can reach it. This is an option in Cloudflare that you can disable if you so prefer. So right now I can move further uh, to the traffic dashboard because of this HSTS option. So but anyway we are able to reach the traffic um, dashboard so that's still a success so let's head back to our script right now as i said it's now back up to the menu it says traffic staging is done and it's good so let's go to set up traffic production right now so the script is basically going to go through the same steps again from um, from the beginning so let's let it do its thing and you're going to see pretty much the exact same messages as it goes through various steps. Okay, as I said, the, the script went through the production successfully, uh, the exact same steps as before. Valid certificates were obtained. The acmejos.json file acts, has the right certificates. Uh, the log level was changed to info, whereas before it was debug mode, so it was spitting out a lot of information when everything is successful, there's really no need to have debug logging. So it was automatically changed to info for you and traffic and socket proxy were restarted. If you haven't liked the video or my channel yet, please do so. So I'm just starting out and every bit of support from people who watch the videos will really help me grow my channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm see that you find my videos valuable and I get more visits on my videos. So now let's go back to the browser and check if the traffic dashboard works. If you remember, it did not work previously. Now we're being asked for the basic authentication username and password, which you supplied during step two, the required information. It was just Anand and Anand for testing purposes. It went through. So we're on our traffic dashboard right now. You can see you do not have that not secure warning anymore. And if I click on this one, 
I can go see the valid certificate um, right here from Let's Encrypt. It says R3, which is what it is normally, and you can see the validity dates right there. So traffic production was successful. So I hope you can see how easy the script made everything look like uh, literally several tens or if not hundred steps involved in the whole process everything was automated for you except for uh, getting some information from you and also just some clicks here and there that's it you're also seeing that pro traffic production was done and it's running and it's good so we're good now this is where version one ended that's it this is what you could achieve with version one Thank <laughs> you.